Yo guys, welcome back to bringing PC Joe Dark Space video. Today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at a Ultra Beast Porygon Z box deck. Now, obviously, Ultra Beast got nerfed super hard with rotation. They lost Beast Energy, they lost Ultra Space, and they lost a Beast Ring. So Ultra Beasts got completely just nerfed. But I mean, we still have a few decent ones around. We still have Nagant LGX. We have that draw engine with Ultra Conversion. We also have access to Nega Guz, which is still a pretty decent card. Uh, we also have Bulcephalon still, so we still have a few Ultra Beasts, you know, kind of laying around. We have the other Baby Blounds too. There's still some Ultra Beasts kind of chilling out. Unfortunately, the Ultra Beasts are not as good as they once were, even though we still have stuff like Beast Bringer. We also have the new Beast Beastite here, allowing your Ultra Beasts to do 10 more damage to your act opponent's active. So this is what I'm going to be playing around with here, an Ultra Beast Porygon Z deck. This is kind of the only way I could figure out how to build a new version of Ultra Beast without having Beast Ring anymore. So forget the video, guys. Of course, shout out to the sponsor, Cargo TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PTC Joe pack codes, get them over at Car Cabin, guys. If you still are looking to pick up any Darkest of Blaze codes, get them over there. Or if you're looking to get the new Eternatus V, Eternatus VMAX codes, get them over at Car Cabin TCG. Car Kevin is the place to get PCO codes at the cheapest price. And of course, guys, um, if you're also looking to trade in any unused codes or cards you don't want to keep, you can give them to Car Kevin TCG and they will give you some cash and in store credit for any unused codes or cards that you trade in to Car Kevin. Um, and yeah, if you get any codes from there, use code LDF for the checkout. Get yourself a beautiful 5% discount on your purchase. Support the channel, support Car Kevin, help yourself out too. So shout out to Car guys, check them out, and yeah, use code LDF. Alright, let's take a look at our beast deck. So this was kind of a clunky deck to build because we are trying to fit in a stage 2 line. We have to play quite a few Pokemon because we do want to use Ultra Conversion to draw cards. We also have to play a lot of energy. Now, one of the biggest things that um, Porygon Z had ended up losing with rotation was Porygon Z lost unit energy. Unit energy was such a good card with Porygon. Um, the fact that it's gone really sucks. It actually makes this deck a lot worse, I feel like. But there are still some special energies we can play with Porygon Z. We can use, you know, Horror Energy. We can use Dark. We can use, the, obviously, we have Aurora Energy still. So we still have, like, an okay amount of energy to work with. But it's not as good as it once was with Rainbows and Units. Uh, one thing we do utilize is Triple Energy and Recycle, though, with the Naganet LGX. Obviously, one Psychic and a Triple allows you to do Venom Shot. Or, alternatively, one Psychic, three Recycle. So... That's what we're going to be trying to do. Now, this Naganado, it's not a terrible card, of course. It's kind of our main attacker of the deck. Early on, we, you know, you do a couple Venom Shots. It can knock out the Dene. Um, it can put Crobat to 10 HP, and then we can, like, finish it off with, like, a Fireworks Bomb. Or we can just zing it, ding it with Zigzagoon, ideally. That's also an option for us. So, that's what we're going to be trying to do there. We also can Ultra Conversion to discard an Ultra Beast from our hand and draw three cards. That's fine. We also have an Ornay Rod to kind of just get them back. We don't want to be using Auto Conversion too much, but it can help thin and also help draw cards if you're maybe just trying to look for that Porygon Z rare candy. We have another ultra, a bunch of Ultra Beasts in this deck too. Uh, going over the ones um, that I play in here. First of all, I got Kartana. I'm playing it because there's a free tree cost. We can also try to use False Swipe as a meme and then like next turn knock him out with like Zigzagoon or something silly. Uh, we also have Big Cut available to us, mainly just here for the free tree cost. Um, and also, a lot of the time, this is mostly a dumping card, but it's not a terrible card to start with because it has a fruit tree cost. Um, I also got a, a Guzzlord in here with Red Banquet. A little bit harder to build this guy up. You'd have to go, like, Hide Energy Aurora to build him up, but that's fine. And then you go Red Banquet for 120 damage, and if something gets knocked out, you take extra prize. So if you hit something for 170, you can finish him off with Red Banquet. Or you can use this to knock out Jirachis and, you know, Zigzagoons so and just take two prizes. We got Fireworks Bomb in here. Obviously, if they knock out, you know, Naganadal and, like, Porygon, we go Fireworks Bomb. Uh, we have two Horrors and Energy in the deck, so it makes no sense not to play it. And then, finally, we got the game finisher, the Naga Guz GX. We already got the Naganadal. We got the Guzzlord. So we got to play the combination monster of the two. You know, it just makes sense, right? Uh, mainly just here for the finishing late game Chaotic Order. It's an okay attacker because it is pretty bulky. Um, and uh, because we can take a bunch of prizes and then we can put a Beastite on him, we can make him do quite a bit of damage with Jet Pierce, maybe even to the point where it's knocking out Zacian Vs in one hit. And we also have Ketakor. So, like, ideally, we can go, like, Nagandal, knock out a Dene, knock out another GX somehow, or knock out a Drachi with that Banquet, and then finish the game off with a Ketakor GX. But no matter what, when we go down to two prizes, we're always trying to eye up the Chaotic Order for the win. So that's why that's here. And then, of course, I got your other draw cards. Uh, going to the supporters and items now. It was kind of clunky to build this deck. I am playing Evil Wind since three comms for quick balls. Uh, one ordinary rod to put back your Ultra Beast when you discard them with Ultra Conversion. Four candies. Uh, I am playing a pretty lot, good amount of supporters. I got four Research, four Marnie, two Boss. I know we have access to Ultra Conversion 
Uh, but most of the time, we're only using this once per turn. It's only three cards. I am playing a Bird Keeper. I actually had Switch in here originally, but I cut the Switches from the deck to make room for some other stuff. I think it was like I made room for a Goon because I realized it's important to knock out Crobat. So I actually threw it a Bird Keeper. I actually kind of want to maybe play like two of these just to have that Switch option available. But that's something we have to accept is I don't really have a good Switch mechanic. The best Switch mechanic we do have is retreating with the Cycle Energy. So that's just something we got to live with with this deck. But I threw in a Bird Keeper to help us a little bit. I got a Beast Bringer, really cool card. You knock out a GX or EX. Obviously, you take an extra prize with your Ultra Beast. Beast Type, do more damage. I want to play two of these. I really do want to play two of these, but I can't find room. I got three triples for Nagandel and Porygon. Uh, four Roar Energies, one High Dark for Neg for the two Guzzlords. We got two Horror Energies, and we got three Recycles. You could put a Obstagoon Goon in this deck, too, because we do have Goon in here. So, if you want to play an Obstagoon, Goon, also be my guest. That's something you can put in this deck. I have no idea what I would take out for Obstacoon. That's why I don't play the one of Obstacoon. But you technically can put Obstacoon in here because we already have the Zigzagoon. Just saying. All right, let's go get some games in this deck. Okay, guys, getting into um, our first game here with our Porygon Z Beast Box deck. We'll see how it goes and if we can win a game with the good old Beast Box. All right, I think we do want to go first, right? I mean, they're up against a fire deck, so it's a little sketch. Um, but I think I want to go first. Not a bad hand. We could do, like, a lot here. Turn to Naganadel, possibly. Lots of stuff could happen here. This hand's not bad. Ooh, we're playing against Salamence, though. Hmm. Let's take Porygon. Uh, Crobat's in the deck. All our Porygons are there. We got uh, most of our energies in the deck. Okay. All candies are there. All right. That's not bad. I think we have a Poipo prize. Speaking of which, what do I Quick Ball away? I need to do Quick Ball. Okay, you know what? We're going to quick ball away. Hmm. We'll get rid of the Nagandal. You know what? We still have other Nagandals in the deck. We can still find it. I want to do Crobat here, and I need to try to dig for an energy. So we can try to go with the Nagandal. There we go. All right, nice. Hey, look, it worked out in the end anyways. Look at that. Um, I guess bench this in case we get knocked out again. We'll see. All right, not bad. Not bad. And then we can Evo Incense for Porygon Z, or we could just get Nagandal. I think we just got to get the Porygon, though. Kind of sucks I had to get rid of the Porygon, or the Nagandal there out that other Quick Ball, but it paid off. Paid off. Grass Energy. We're playing against a Rillaboom. Okay, that's fine. Rillaboom's got 170 HP, so we can just knock out the Rillaboom here with the uh, Venom Shot if we want. Or we can knock out the, we can hit the Salamence. I don't know if it really matters. Ooh, Research. Good thing they didn't Marnie me. Good thing we didn't see a Marnie there. That would have been pretty bad. All right, they're playing an egg route build too. Okay. Hmm. There's lots of things we can do then. I think we definitely, I think just knock this out. Shut off his draw engine. Get some Malolana. We'll see if he gets the Rillaboom down. If he has a Mew though, that's going to make things a little bit more tough because then obviously we can't hit the Rillaboom. There's a switch. Actually, hmm. No, actually we should go, the, we should actually get the Nagandal here because, yeah, cause, yeah, yeah. Okay, we have to get the Nagandal. We're not going to be able to get the Porygon Z down with this with this hand. Okay, that's fine. Another Marnie. That's a good discard. He's losing a lot of his draw supporters here. He's already down th four of his supporters. All right, Quick Ball. I'm assuming that's going to get Crobat. It could get another Grookey. It could go... I mean, yeah, he kind of has to get another Grookey here. Yeah, I was going to say, because we're going to snipe this Grookey with Naganadol. Unless he, like, has a reset stamp he wants to just play and, like, try to... But he doesn't know my hand is, you know, this decent. So, yeah, Super Growth. All right, we're going to knock out that Rilla Boomer. That seems good to me. We can knock out Rillaboom, knock out Egg Realm, then all we have to do is go Catech Order with uh, Nigan and Elka's Lord. We'll stuff on top deck. We don't really need the Blown. I guess one thing we actually could do is we can discard the Blown and try to get a Porygon Z here. It paid off, look at that. We can Marnie him too. Nah, I think we just research. Obviously we don't want to Marnie him. I don't know if he'll concede when I do this, but we'll see. I'm going to bench this. Um, put a Recycle Energy on this just in case. Venom Shot. Yep. Take out this uh, Rillaboom. We can also go knock out Rillaboom. Knock out Rillaboom. Knock out Salamence. Go from there. I don't think we're going to need Mew, though. So that's good. All right. Let's see what our prize is. Ornay Rod. And we can play that. Get some Ultra Beast back. 
And I don't know if he'll concede because he probably realizes it's like he can't get a Rillaboom in play because we're always going to be sniping it with Naganadel. <laughs> Unless he gets a Mew. If he gets a Mew, we're going to hit the active, knock out the active, and then we just got to win with Chaotic Order GX. So we have our game plan kind of in motion here. I don't know how long this game will last though because I uh, this guy probably realizes like he cannot get a Rillaboom in play. Yeah, see? I kind of feel bad. I kind of don't. You know what I mean? I kind of like, I, yeah, I'm in the middle of feeling bad and not feeling bad. There's Mew. Okay, that's Ultra Conversion away the uh, Guzzlord. Okay. Uh, I'm going to Ordinary Rod. I'm going to put back the Ganadel and Belcephalon, I guess. I'm just going to attach. And unfortunately for my opponent, we are just going to Venom Shot the Rillaboom. It's just that simple. We're just going to keep doing Venom Shot here. He hasn't even put an energy in place since. Like, he's literally just attached an energy and passed. Yeah, there's a concession. I kind of saw that coming, but when you get the Nagandal set up like that, I mean, it's super easy to just control what they bench. You know what I mean? You can get a pack from the shop, too. Might as well. That's why Nagandal GX is not bad. It's like a worse version of... Oh, don't want to buy that. It's like a worse version of uh, Cramorant. I mean, Cramorant's still the better card, obviously, but... You know what? We got the, it gets the job done, too. Where's the HSS pack at? There it is. All right, let's open up this pack here, see what we can pull. Try to get a uh, secret, secret, reverse hall switcher DC would be great. Or Meganium Prime. Dawn fan. Right, bro, that right you sus. I get that way too much. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to get another match with our beast deck. I mean, that game was fairly quick, but I mean, it was just like we were just controlling the game when again all there. It's like, no matter what, they were never going to be attacking me with Rillaboom. The fact that they didn't get any energy either kind of sucked for them. All right, let's see how our start's looking. We got a Poiple start. Not the worst hand, we have the turn 2 Naganadel, and it's not the end of the world if we don't go Porygon turn 2, because we do have the ability to just go triple. Looks like we're playing against a Sandaconda Colossal deck. Hmm, this could be an interesting matchup. Um, but I mean, we can knock out their Colossals with uh, Naganadel, and they mentioned a Dene, that's a nice easy target for us too. We'll see how it goes. I think it might be a little difficult though to one-shot the Sandacondas though, that's the only thing that kind of concerns me. And they have Ninetales too. We probably want to bench Mew here so they can't do 170 damage. Yep, there's Sandaconda. They already got energy in the discard. Do they have a dead Dene? Yep, it looks like they do. Unless they're gonna... That's a really busted start. No. Oh, man. We're gonna get pummeled here, probably. They already got two energy in the discard. Yeah, their start is actually insane. The Dene is good, though. That's something we can snipe with Naganadel. Assuming we are even gonna get the Naganadel on play. It's not looking very good right now. To recycle. All right, well, let's go here, here. I guess here, and then we're just gonna Marnie and hope for the best. Hope to cripple them a little bit and hope to get a decent hand. No! Oh no, we got Porygon Z, but we didn't get any Porygons. No! Oh man, we're just gonna have to belt for a whopping 10 damage. That's not good. Oh, now we just gotta hope our Marnie didn't give him rare candy. Maybe they'll Marnie us. This hand sucks. <laughs> I don't really want to lose my Porygon. They have Ornate Rod, though, but... Still kind of feels bad, man, to discard these Porygons. I don't know. We'll see. This is a really interesting armor got Poipal. Just realized. It's like chilling in the tree. My man's here. He's got a long tail. I didn't realize Poipal even had a tail. It's kind of weird. Okay, Quick Ball. If he goes double to Dene, that's good, because then we just got to take out two to Dene's, and then we just go Chaotic Order for game. He might have to go to Dene here to get out of the lock. He could also get Crobat. That's, that's, that's fine. We can also knock out Crobat if we really wanted to. As long as Poiple can live here, we're chilling because this hand is not very good. Okay, he's getting another Roly Coly. What else has he got? Hapu. Oh boy. What if Hapu gave him everything he needed? He would need to get Rare Candy Colossal, and if he already had a switch in hand, that's going to be pretty feels bad, man. Yeah, it sucks we couldn't get Porygon. If we draw a Porygon, I'm actually tempted to hold the hand. I don't know. It's tempting, because we can still attack with Neg Guz. It's not the end of the world if we have to use this guy. Sucks we had to start with him, but it might have to be what we got to do until we can try to set up a little bit more here. I mean, maybe we should just do research, in all honesty. We can always Ornate Rod back the Porygon. Another Sanaconda. All right, does he have anything? Okay, no, he doesn't. Okay, there's Naganadel. Yeah, research. We are losing recycle is pretty bad, but that's fine. Triple energy one time? No. Okay. 
We can try to Crobat here, which I think we have to do. We can also do Ultra Conversion, so that's good. I don't want to get rid of my other boss, so hopefully I don't have a Dede change. Hmm, that's not it, Chief. Ultra Conversion. Triple, come on. Yes, let's go. Okay. We got Porygon for next turn, too. Um, yeah, definitely keep this thing stranded. I'm trying to think what I want to do. Okay, I think I want to do this first. We're going to Quick Ball, get another Poiple. I'm going to make sure I have two Nagas working with. We just snipe the Dedenne, I think. Hopefully this thing stays stranded. We'll see. We are going to get knocked out, though, unfortunately, by this. Yeah, it sucks we had a research. We actually could have bossed up the Dedenne and took three prizes, I just realized. I was thinking about that, but it's kind of too late for that to matter. Alright, research. That's fine. Oh, he loses two rare candies. That is huge. Huge, huge, huge stuff. Okay. As long as we don't get, like, reset stamp, this is actually a very good hand. We have another Nagandel. We can put the hide energy on this. And again, all we have to do is knock out Sanaconda, and we win with Cat Quarter. So we kind of have our checkmate play on board. Let's see what he has. I think I'm just going to hit the Sanaconda for 170 if I uh, attack him here. No, he has a switch. Does he have the rare candy? Okay, he doesn't. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm just going to try to hit this for 170. And then we can try to Cat Quarter. So we just want to knock this out and then go here. Let's go rare candy. Dig an Ornate Rod. We are gonna, I'm going to play that. I'm going to get back a Porygon to make sure I have another one in the deck. And then I'm going to put back Poipole. Uh, just get another Naganadol. It's going to build up the Guz here, I think. There's Research. Alright, Triple Energy one time. No. Three Auroras. Okay, we have Ultra Conversions to work with. We'll play these first. Okay, we got a Recycle. That's good. Go here. Get rid of the Cartana. Wait, he's weak to Grass, isn't he? Wait. Oh, we just talked about Cartana. Why did I not do that the whole time? Oh my gosh, bro, I'm a dummy. <laughs> I completely forgot about Cartana being hitting him for weakness. Rip. Okay. Alright. Bit of not I wouldn't even call that a misplay, but that is what it is. Alright, look at this. Busted turn. And we have game next turn. I completely forgot Cartana existed. Yo, get out of here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, let's bust it. I should have went for that the whole time. Ugh. Okay, that's good. So now we have game next turn with Chaotic Order. That's pretty lit. Nice. This deck's not too bad. We actually also just knock him out with Jet Pierce, too. The Santa Conda does have 100 and... Yeah, Santa Conda get knocked out by Jet Pierce. Alright, this should be game, then. We are out of boss, so technically we have to do the category, but we can do category. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Oh, wow. I completely forgot about Cartana, and to think I almost got rid of it with Ultra Conversion. Big dummy moment. See, the Cartana I had in here originally just for a treat, and it's a decent card to discard, because it's not always useful, but... Look at that. I found use for it. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, this deck tempoed pretty well here. We went knockout to Dene, knockout with uh, Big Cut, and then win the game with Cat Quarter. See, this deck has a bit of a rhythm to it. You see what I mean? See, just winning with Cat Quarter. It's like, there's nothing my opponent can do about it. I can't think of any way they can one-shot my Neg Guz here. Yeah, there's nothing they can do. And it's already built up. If, like, the only way they could stop it was to, like, knock out Porygon Z with, like, a boss... And if I didn't have energy on this, we wouldn't be able to do that. But we already have energy on it, so it doesn't matter. So, yeah. That's going to be game. First place, Santa Conda deck. Duck can't, apparently cannot beat a Necrozma. We did get lucky, though. I mean, when we did Marty them on that first turn there, we took away their option of Colossal, I think, which was huge. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, let's see what they got here. They got a Stellar Wish. Any supporters they have left. Four. Okay, not much. Again, they can't, they can't do anything. They'd have to, like do some insane energy discard plays if they want to stop me and they can't stay they can't literally nothing can get trapped in the active either if they wanted to like try to stall or something yeah there's just nothing they can do and that's gonna be game right sand breath knock me out and we'll give them the well played beautiful stuff yeah this deck's not too bad it is gonna work right yeah i was making sure catacord is gonna work here yeah that's pretty good not a bad showcase I completely forgot about, um, thing, though. 
completely forgot about the Nagana or the Kartana being able to hit him for weakness. That's kind of my bad though, not gonna lie, but that was still pretty good. Okay, guys, let's try this Ultra Beast deck here. Probably one last time before we end off the video. That was a pretty nice showcase of the deck. Um, the deck's not playing too bad, though. It's just going to come down to whether or not we get a bad start. You know what I mean? I can't really think of what this deck could really lose to other than maybe ADP. And our Eternatus could be a little sketchy. But if they bench enough Crobats, it shouldn't be that bad. We get a Mew Blount start. Our hand's pretty dead here. We're just going to start with Mew, I think. Yeah, our hand's not very good. Hopefully, okay, they're mulliganing. That gives me some enthusiasm. Oh, we're playing against ADP. Or we could be playing against... No, it's ADP. They have Energy Spinner. Alright, ADP. Can we take out ADP to finish the video off? We'll find out, I guess. We're going to be put to the ultimate test here with our Beast deck. Is Can we take down ADP? Oh, with a hand like this. Oh, that was good. Okay, there we go. That's a good draw. That's also a good draw. Oh my gosh. Alright. It sucks we couldn't get a Psych Energy on this, but whatever. We can draw three cards next turn. They're already are, they're already going to start with a Dedenne, which is already good for us. I think the only way we could win this is we got to go knock out Dedenne. If they bench two Dedennes, we can just go double Dedenne, knock out, and then hopefully Nega Guz can win us the game before they take all their prizes with Alter Creations. Cheese! The cheese of Alter Creation. <laughs> two, you gotta imagine, bro. ADP plays two waters and they always have it in their opening hand or something. They fail the Energy Spinner? Oh, they have another one. But they fail that too? Marnie? Okay, that's fine. That hand was, you know, we were relying on to draw four cards with our top deck. That is an insane hand. We, well, we do have to drop the Dene, but that's still insane stuff. That's still some insane stuff. Alright, and they didn't get the Ultra Creation off. That's what you get for playing this annoying deck. Alright, we're just gonna Dead A change. We're not gonna bother with Crobat. We'll draw more cards anyway with the Dene. Alright. Hopefully we can attack when Degandel here. Not really with this hand. There's a few things we can do. We can get Naganadel. We can draw three cards here, which I think I'm gonna do. Try to just if we can get a triple energy, that's huge. Big if true. Come on, triple energy one time. No. Okay, another Poiple's fine. I'm gonna whore energy that. Research. Or maybe we should have went here because we did the recycle. No, okay, we got the triple energy base. Alright. I'm going to hit the ADP too, I think. I think hitting the ADP here is the correct play. I'm going to put all the energy on this too. Is it worth it? Probably not even worth it. Actually, yeah. Okay, we'll just put more recycle on. I, see, that's like the issue. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm definitely going to hit this more time. But if we don't get the uh, triple energy, I want to do that. Plus, we get Marnie again. I want to make sure I can attack. So I'll just put two energy on this just to be safe. The next turn, we can knock out the ADP with another thing. And then we just got to knock out one Pokemon and then go cut a quarter. Dodging the Alter Creation is really good. That's really good. As long as we can knock this out and he doesn't build up something insane, we could win this. Plus, the Dedenne is going to get sniped too. So, I'm feeling pretty good about this situation we're in. Even though he technically only has to knock out two of my Nagandals or knock out Nagandal Dedenne to win the game, it will hurt our tempo a little bit, but I'm hoping we can make it through. Okay, looks like he is going to retreat the Dedenne. Bro, he's definitely gonna research. He's gonna Marnie again? See, that's why I wanted to play the energy, but that's not the end of the world. Okay, mm, that Crobat. Best case scenario here, he has to Intrepid Sword and he doesn't get the AC off. He already attached too, so he has to get a switch here. Oh, he's gonna go with another Dene. We could just knock out ADP and then knock out two to Dene. We'll see how that goes. Now I wish I put the triple, uh, wish I put the Recycle Energy on the Degando. I probably should have in all honesty. I probably should have because we could have kept up with the tempo here and we could have knocked this out a little bit easier because there's not there's a chance we whip the energy which I hope doesn't happen. But we can go Naganadel. Uh, we can confer Naganadel, Quick Ball. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. We can also just win by going ADP double to Dene or we can just go ADP to Dene. Neg does. All right, did he get the switch here? Quick Ball. He can Crobat for three. Our other win con could have been knock out all these bench sitters, but yeah, I think knocking out the ADP is a little bit more efficient. Especially if he gets an ultimate ray off. Ooh, he got a metal saucer. I don't like that. But did he get a switch? He's already played a supporter and he's done both of his Dedenne and Crobat. So let's see. Did he get a switch? He did. All right, here we go. Now my favorite part about playing against ADP is we are on the clock. True bird keeper. Okay, let's go here. 
Do we have Crobat? Yeah. I wish I didn't start with Mew, man. I don't really want. I don't really like having the Mew in play. I'm gonna hold the Bird Keeper because we have that option to like Bird Keeper or something like that. I don't really know. Okay, let's go here. Draw three cards. There's the Triple Energy. Yeah, beautiful. What am I doing here? And go here. And play boss too. Boss up the crowbat. We could boss up the other Zacian. This is a two retreat cost. We could actually we could boss this up. I like that. Yeah, we boss the Zacian up here, so we can't metal saucer to it. I like that. Okay. Hopefully this pays off. At this point, we just we can Venom Shot the two to Denny's to win too. We'll see how that goes. If we can live the turn, that's really good. Another energy, all right. Love to see it. More supporters. Ooh, if we get Marty here, we're putting literally five supporters. Is that all our supporters? Okay, we have one research to draw. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Yeah, I'm glad I hit the active here. I got, yeah, bossing this thing out felt pretty good. Because now, he could still Metal Saucer Energy Switch. We'll see if he does it. He benches an Eldegoss. What, if, is that a Marnie? No, he's going research. Okay, he's, he's digging here. Okay, he loses a boss's order. That's good. That helps me not worry about Dedenne getting knocked out. This is so intense. Despite our, like, decent setup right now, we could still easily lose this game to just two knockouts. That That's insane. That is so ridiculous. ADP is so overpowered, bro. It's too, it's too cheesy, man. It's too cheesy. All right, let's go. That should be about game then. All right, you'll love to see it. You just absolutely love to see it. There's Marnie him, obviously. Get rid of his big hand. Hopefully put up a bunch of energy at the bottom of the deck. We'll see. Um. I'm gonna play this. Just just to uh, thin out one card. This a card I might not, because we might get stamped to one here, so I'm kind of scared of. I'm actually gonna save my Ultra Beast too. Probably wanna charge the energy then. Yeah, it looks like at this point. Yeah, at this point our wing con is also just knock out the two bench sitters, so that should be that. All right, you love to see it. Oh, it's only two energy. Ooh, almost discarded. Ooh, imagine that. All right, we could get stamped to one here, which could be a little bit of a problem. That's not a helpful card. It's not a helpful card either. All right, stamped to one's kind of scary. He had a massive hand that we just put at the bottom of his deck, so this could be the one time Marnie Cheese might actually come in handy for us. He's definitely gonna get a knockout here, though. But there's no way he can save the Dedenne unless he plays a. Well, he could big charm it actually. But if he big charms it, we still have our goon, and then we can just knock out the Crobat or Eldegoss. All right, he gets the Zacian. That's not going to help him draw more cards. So I got to hope our Marnie did some damage here. Like, we just straight up win if he doesn't have a stamp either. Boss? All right, that's nothing gets stalled here. Oh, he actually could knock out the Porygon. And then we can't attack. Okay, never mind. Oh. Okay, I might have actually jumped the gun there. He could have knocked out Porygon, and then we actually couldn't have attacked. But, it's all good. Crazy code. All right, I had a heart attack there. It looks like we hit him really hard with that Marnie, and yeah, that's going to be game here. We're just going to retreat into Naganadel. Then Porygon again. I'm not going to give him the wall played, because he's playing ADP. Um, you know how it is. Just like that. All right, I'll wrap up today's PGC Joe video, guys, here with the Naganadel Beast Box Porygon deck. The Porygon Z, the revival of beasts is what I like to call the revival of Ultra Beasts. And, yeah, pretty cool deck. Actually, it was a lot of fun to play, too. And it's just satisfying when you can snipe their Dedenes with Venom Shot. But that'll be it for today's PGC Joe video, guys, on this deck, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe down below. If you're new to the channel, help me on the reaching 11,000 subs. I want to thank, guys, for all the support on the channel, all the growth on the channel recently. Once again means a lot. Uh, make sure to check out um, my Twitter down below if you guys want to follow me. Just help me on the road reaching 1,000 followers. Um, 
Check out the sponsor, Car Kevin TCG, down below, guys. Make sure you use code LDF at the checkout if you do get any code over there. Uh, follow me on Patreon. Check out my Patreon down below, too. Plus, you all a month for exclusive content. Yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll catch you guys in another video. That is it for the Beast Box Porygon deck, the revival of the Ultra Beasts.